There's no God anywhere. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Later on, oh yeah, there's God. Of course, there's a creator, so there's God. Okay. But you can't tell me that God wrote the Bible. Okay. So at first, there's no God. Later, there's God. But yeah. the Bible doesn't belong to him. Okay, Jesus Christ never existed. Okay, he existed. But yeah, uh, yeah, he's yeah. not God. So I think you got what he's doing right now. There's so no existence of contract. What is it? Uh, the logical law of contradiction states that um, I think cannot both exist and not exist at the same time in the same sense. So to say God exists and again to say God doesn't exist, you're contradicting yourself. It's illogical. It's illogical. Yeah. So what could I tell in our address and also the church that didn't attend? Yes, so Christ uh, preachers I will uh, encourage all preachers who have not been able to come that uh, they should do well next year if we are all alive and Christ still did not come they should do well to attend because it's an eye-opener it helps you to learn I greet you, beloved, and once again, I welcome you to Lawson Media. My name is Wachester Ben, and you know for sure that whenever you meet up with me here, it's about we dismantling those several assertions that have been made against Christianity since time in Muriel. I'm actually currently in Takwadi, and uh, I actually attended the preacher's clinic, and it's awesome, it's blossoming, beloved. I'm with um, brother David Ewa. David Ewa here, and he's going to tell us his view about what actually happened today. Seriously, it's amazing, and you see my notebook, I've jotted or noted down several many things. Let's ask him uh, about his regards rega uh, about the program. Oh, that's good, that's good. I thank you very much. Um, <laughs> uh, it sounds so interesting, okay. and I wish uh, the next time we are coming, we are praying that each of us, all the preachers and the leaders will come in numbers. Okay. And the truth of the matter is that the, pro the program is very, very successful. Okay. Even today is the first day doing the program. We are counting for the tomorrow. We think, uh, we're hoping that it will be more serious than as we are seeing today. So the program is so fantastic. Um, it is very, very enjoyable. Okay. So we urge all the audience to uh, continue for us, and the program is very, very huge. Wow, very, wow, very wow. Huge. So, so according to his, it's a recommendation. Obi gets to me. It's recommending the program to all Church of Christ preachers. Obi gets to me. Yeah. Seriously, myself, I'm very much happy over here. And please, what, I think uh, three preachers spoke today, right? Yeah, yeah. Who, who were they? Oh. Yeah, um, uh, the, the first speaker was uh, Brother uh, Dr. Daniel Ousiama. Okay. And the second preacher was Brother Retina Amponsa. Okay. Currently, Takwadi Central Church of Christ. Preacher, okay. Yeah. And then the third one was Mr. Samson Egan of right. South Point Church of Christ. Okay. And very, very, it was very, very interesting. Wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. I, I witnessed well. this they myself. Wow, I witnessed this myself. So that yeah. was. But David, for you, beloved, uh, surely we actually go and interview several many people and we're going to ask of their views about this program. Seriously, this is my first time attending and uh, seriously, it, what I've gotten is uh, something very much profound. It's something huge. Hope it gets with me. Make sure to not miss this if you're a Church of Christ preacher. Surely, we are actually um, in hospital, okay? It's preachers clinic. Shall we end it up here and we continue with different other uh, interviewee. Thank you. Well, the God bless you.
once again, you welcome to Lost in Media. My name is Boche Steven, and you know for sure that whenever you meet up with me here on Lost in Media, it's about with the smart and those several sessions that has been made against Christianity since my memorial. I'm actually at the preacher's clinic um, in Takradi, all we get to me. This is my first time attending, and it's blows on me, beloved. I'm actually having uh, preacher Dasan, Dasan here of Tamale East Church of Christ. Uh, Church of Christ. Oh, he's very much um, the sound all we get to me is very good and i've ever met up with him before and uh, the way those stuffs i ate seriously i still have them in memory we thank god we thank god <laughs> so what's your view about what happened today oh in the first place i realized that um, we have a lot to learn okay especially there are certain things that um, as preachers um, we need to continue to learn so that we'll be abreast with the truth so that we can propagate it very well. Uh, we are in an era where false teaching is so, uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's spreading like wildfire. So clinics like this will help us to be able to know certain things that we can continue to propagate and let our members also know the truth. Right. And uh, coming to meet, in fact, the Church of Christ, we have the men. Very true. Yes. Very true. Look, look, I mean, coming to meet brothers here, yeah. it means we have the men. And if we are all out to do the work, we can make an impact. Very true. Very, Very true. If we are all out to do the work, it's actually going to make an impact. And it's true because today, I had it not been today, I didn't know we had some uh, scholars among us. You see, like, looking at the way even the last speaker spoke today, I was very happy and seriously, he's educated me on certain things uh, about the New Testament and the Old Testament stuff and uh, major and minor prophets. What, what, what's your view about that? Yes, uh, you know, over the years, okay. um, we went to the Bible College, learned those divisions, the Old and New Testaments, the major and minor prophets. But uh, coming to this clinic, has uh, actually opened my eyes to certain things okay. to be able to know those divisions okay. the proper divisions of the, the bible, bible. Wow. so that uh, i can also teach others wow. so that in that way the truth will, will, will be able to spread. well so so what actually are you telling our addresses and also the preachers that I didn't attend yes um, preachers that i will uh, encourage all preachers who have not been able to come that uh, they should do well next year if we are all alive and Christ still did not come. Okay. They should do well to attend because it's an okay. eye-opener. Okay. It helps you to learn a lot. So I'm encouraging all preachers who are not here, next year, God willing, they should make it a point to attend. Next year, God willing, make sure to attend because it's going to help you. We are actually in a hospital. Oh, get to me. It's preacher's clinic and surely we've studied a lot, we've learned a lot. And uh, uh, myself, seriously, I'm blessed. I've been blessed with several many stuffs, and I'm going to. I'm, it's going to help me with my teachings in front of the church. May God richly bless you. Shall we meet up here once again? Bye bye. Beloved, once again, I greet you. My name is Boche Steven, as usual, and you know for sure that whenever we meet up here, it's about we dismantling those several assertions that have been made against Christianity uh, since time immemorial. Okay, we are on break, all we get to me. So we're done with the first section. Uh, today is Wednesday, 25th day of October, 2023, and uh, surely we are in a hospital, okay? This is the Preacher's Clinic. Clinic, if you miss this, um, is it a lectureship? Yeah, it's pre Preacher's Clinic. Pre preacher's yeah, Clinic. If yeah. you miss this clinic, surely uh, you're actually going to fall ill, okay? Because I've said it a lot. Uh, what's your name, please? Ifakweku. Brother Ifakweku is with me here. He's actually going to tell us of his view about what actually happened today. What's your view about what happened today? Yeah, it's very good today that we experience such a great scholars. Okay. Like Mr. Egan, okay. and then Brother Ritna, and okay. then Dr. Abra, uh, okay. the Padresian. Wow, wow, uh, They wow, have given wow. us some very important lessons. Okay, so they are great speakers. Um, looking at the way they were flowing, I got to know that, well, Church of Christ, we have great people. Yeah, we have great people. Wow, yeah, we need wow. to take so what, yourself, what did you learn today? 
Oh, about uh, how to uh, divide the scriptures, okay. proper division of the Bible. Okay. Yeah, at the, at the first, uh, how we look at the Old Testament okay. and then the New Testament, there's, so, uh, there's some differences between wow. them. Uh, so wow. it's wow. very, wow. very good. Well, that's uh, Brother Ifa for yeah. you from Kranza. In Kranza, in Kranza, Christ. Bono East. Bono East. Yeah. Amiga Richard, bless you. Thank you. That's his view about what actually happened today. He's very happy with myself. I'm very happy. And actually, I'm actually trying my possible best to uh, get access to Brother written now okay he was the uh, second second speaker yeah. okay yeah he was a second speaker and surely he actually blowed my mind with church history we actually going to get at get, get to him and he's going to help a lot brother if i may god richard bless thank you, you. We're actually going to meet yeah. up again bye bye hey, god bless you Out of four and I'm more cover about lost media. We did the watch seven now. Bray Moody, my name is brother Daniel K. Adam Patrino, then try a chance of Christ, preacher, right? Yeah, brother Adam. Um, and they just say, and they a very nice day. The first time I'm there attending preachers clinic in here, okay. Now, I'm just say, um. Monsieur de Bibri, yes. what do you think about it? Like, what's your name? Monsieur de Bibri, Monsieur de Bibri, in fact, I'm a manager of Papa, okay. I'm a friend of the Catapona, the Amayan one, in fact, a sum of Papa, and I'm a person, a Dishia, a Tisay Nunca, a Tapon, a Nimphonia, a Tapon, a bit me, a movie, a Babishina, a Oba, a bit me, a Wow, wow, it's an obi beer and fun and winning movie, a bit me, a Wapa, because I'm a Monsieur de Bibri, now, I'm a patrol, and a Casafono, Unimomo. Um, I got a phone, minimum, you know, okay. I brought a doctor than um, okay, or okay. no, any deca, a cassai, okay, and I have a yenia, and I have a sample cany, which I'm ponsa, and also a betwasso, and a sample cany, okay, okay, and a sample cany, written on ponsa, and so a becassai, and a sample cany, um, Higan, and so a debitrat. Wow, in fact, many adjectives, many adjectives. Well, so out of all, I also would uh, fear that I'm the first time in the so maybe I want to say yes. I can't come to Ankasa, I can't say I'm going to say I'll be getting with me. There are so many teachings, uh, yeah, 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 near there. I'm thinking, I didn't say be one on the bat. It'd be a wooden be, but we'll be near the and also I'm going to pay you. So, wherever you are, any first day, any 25th day of October 2023, okay, I could see a Friday. Uh, make sure I 27th, okay. Make sure you say over to me at 10 DB now. I did say, I'm a bro. Or like a final words now to preach as a woman to me. I'm a bit of 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 a or cross or a waste of time. No question, I may pass a doctor in a and it's a so some papa no, so who are Emma Obe Yanti, I see my woman is a new waste of time. Name of my son, sir, a trono at all, so let the Bibrena, she said, and no, any the right and intino, a ma, Bibrena, if you say, and when you have so a quarter transfer. Now, being invited to Bibiara, or Susu, sir, or yeah, a brand here, now, now, Jane, a chance, sir, because some a waste of time. Be inviting to Omra Church of Christ. It's a Oba. And to the channel, and then the Apostle of the Ma, or when he said, I'm passing it to some Papa or Nemo, no, who now, who who here. Wow, Yeda, Yeda brother, I say, Yanko Ponsra, Yanko Ponsra, now we just have put to it so, maybe a rabbit. So if preacher, I want to be a maybe a Yanko preacher, and now Okasano, Bra, and I'm a Jedi say, you only know when you become one, but to me a boy. It will be here, it will be so, at what you be. Bye bye.
Once again, beloved, I greet you and I welcome you to Lost in Media. My name is Boatje Steven and you know for sure that whenever I meet up with you here, it's about we dismantling those several assertions that has been made against Christianity since time immemorial. I'm actually here with brother... Bless Bugri. Bless Bugri, I know for sure you know you have some records about this brother, okay? Uh, you record something about him and Abraham Bemoshe. Do you have any rage with Abraham Bemoshe? Oh no, I have no rage with Abraham Bemoshe. I mean... Uh, all he does is to criticize Christianity. So, the fact that I'm a Christian and the Bible teaches me to defend my faith, I also defend the Bible and what it says. Okay. Yeah, so I have no grad with Abraham Ben Moshe. I mean, I don't think anybody has a grad with him. Okay. Uh, no Christian does. Okay. But uh, the only grad we have is with his stance against the Bible. Yeah. Right? So, just as the Pharisees, Jesus had to defend himself against them. Okay. So we also have to defend our, uh, ourselves against Abraham. Very so true. No Very true. So you're an apologist, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm an upcoming apologist. An upcoming I'm not apologist. there yet. You're not, there okay. are others who are ahead of me in apologists. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So he says he's an upcoming apologist. Yeah. And that's the reason he gives an answer to Abraham and Moshe. And I had been watching your videos and you were very hard on him sometimes. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, if, if you watched Abraham's video before, you realize that he speaks with boldness. Yeah, yeah. And one thing about the human psychology is that if you speak with boldness, and even if what you are saying is lies, yeah, people, people will believe you. Yeah, depending yeah. on how you are speaking, the, yeah, the, the, the lies with, 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 with strength and with vigor. So when you're also defending the truth against what he said, you also have to come with uh, strength. Strength, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, of course, it's not insults. <laughs> okay. Not, you don't have to insult him. Okay. But um, uh, there has to be courage in your in your tonation. Very true. People have to know that indeed you believe what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, that's the preacher's voice. You can't be speaking slowly, oh, I believe what you're saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> speak with vigor and people will know, okay, what you're saying is true. Yeah, he says you should uh, speak with vigor yes. for people to know that what you're saying is true. And not just vigor, make sure to present reasonable and logical and also rational arguments all we get to me and looking at the way brother uh bless Bugri was doing his stuff serious i don't know have you put a stop to it um i've not actually put a stop to it definitely okay um definitely that's yeah, the keyword. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah yeah but the issue is uh, the time i was defending uh, these things against Abraham, he was bringing out a lot of stuff yeah. which confused a lot of people. Yeah. Right now, what I've realized is that a lot of the things he says are not new to people. Yeah. So he keeps repeating those things he's been saying. Yeah. So yeah. I've, I've like almost answered to all of them. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. So true. that's why uh, for now it's, it's gone down. Like I don't really re respond to him that much. Yeah, it seems. And, yeah. and if you yeah. watch the terrain, okay. People don't really listen to him now like they used to. Yeah, very true. Very yeah. true. Yeah, people don't listen to him now very like true. they used to. You yeah. see, when, when he was starting, he, he thought he would take Ghana by storm. Like within six months, everybody would stop uh, Christianity and everybody would just. Yeah. Uh, they, they, uh, yeah, just forgo Christianity and all that. That's what he thought. But yeah. when he started and how people started defending the Bible and against him and all those stuff, yeah. uh, he just had to know that they are men. So, yeah, assistant. he's not actually giving up. Okay. Yeah. But right now, he's not as strong as he started. Yeah, yeah very yeah. true. And I think since um, he's somewhat like a person who evolves, yeah, yeah he, he's unstable. He's not stable. And he's I've not ever heard Brother Dano Uso Siyama saying he's consistent in his inconsistency. Yeah, yeah, he's only consistent in his consistency. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, because okay. you see, uh, I watched a certain video of him. Okay. Oh, there's no God anywhere. That's what he was saying. Oh, yeah. Later on, oh, yeah, there's God. Of course, there's, there's a creator, so there's God. Okay. But you can't tell me that God wrote the Bible. Okay. So at first, there's no God. Later, there's God. But yeah. the Bible doesn't belong to him. Okay, Jesus Christ never existed. Okay, he existed. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. he's not God. So I, I think you get what he's doing right now. The so law of contract, what is it? Uh, the logical law of contradiction states that um, a thing cannot both exist and not exist at the same time in the same sense. So to say God exists and again to say God doesn't exist, you're contradicting yourself. It's illogical. It's illogical yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's irrational. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 I think to conclude everything, I think we're actually going to have some blog time with, uh, or broad time with Brother. Bless Bukri, and I'm actually going to have you on my show one day. Okay, okay, okay. I've, yeah. I've been seeing your shows and uh, you deal a lot with the Muslims and all yeah, stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I've, been, I've been watching you. I've watched okay. you. You are doing a very great job and oh, you God too. bless you for you that. Too. And um, uh, of course, of course, we always have to defend the Bible against yeah. these, the, these cooks. Yeah, infidels. And I mean, if, if because the Pentecostals, the Charismatics, the 
they, they can't defend the scriptures against these people. Very true. But for them, all they learn is grace and faith. Yeah. They don't know anything about apologetics and those stuff. So when these people come up, it's only us, the lost church, yeah. yeah. who can stand up and defend. So it's good what we are all doing. Uh, Very you, true. brother. I'm not seen him here, but yeah, he's such he's a coming. He'll, he'll be present okay, uh, good. in the evening. Good, good, yeah. Good, good. So to conclude everything, I think uh, today we attended the program. Okay, they, um, actually this is my first time to the preachers' clinic in Takrade, and seriously, it's blossoming. I'll be get to him in uh, looking at the uh, presentations or the three speakers that spoke. The uh, seasonal preachers, I'll be get to him in. They are very, very, very good, and myself, I've learned a lot today. Okay, my way of interpreting the biblical passages and all that, uh, the stuff that we've been taught, okay, in regards to Old and New Testament and, uh, uh, okay, uh, something like major and minor prophets and all that. I had some knowledge about how to go about them. I'll be getting with me. Brother Ritner, uh, what is it? Uh, Brother Bless Bugri, uh, what do you say about all this? What's your view about the whole thing that happened today? Well, first of all, Glory to God for making this program a success. Okay. And secondly, the thanks to the Takwadi Church okay. for sponsoring this program. Okay. Uh, as we can see, a lot of people are present this year. Very and true. we give glory to God for that. The, the, the speakers are all seasoned preachers, as you said. Yeah. They all know what they are doing. Uh, Brother Dan, as we all know, yeah. is a master of the scriptures. And what he's taking us through, ministry conversations, yeah. uh, is something that will help every preacher. Very true. I Very mean, true. the man is successful in preaching i mean yeah i mean yeah, he's yeah. the definition uh, of he actually em yeah. employed or he, he employed yeah, that yeah, way yeah. Okay. he's the definition <laughs> the very definition you see okay. when we say the very definition okay the very definition of a successful minister very so true. when this man is standing in front of you and yeah. explaining things to you in ministry you have yeah. to listen and listen carefully so i'm i'm, I'm happy to be here today and what i wish not to be taking us through church history of course uh, those who do not know history tend to repeat it. So it's good that we learn church history and yeah. do not go back to the things which the errors, were done yeah. and yeah. all these things came up. And Brother Samson Egan, okay. we call him in the Bible, we call him the professor. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah that's his nickname. We yeah, call him the I professor. Think I think I've had one on one, one on one encounter with him really? before. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. For me, for me, he taught me from 2018 to 2001 okay. at the TBC Bible College. Okay. So I know him personally and, 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 and wow. Okay. He's, he's simply the wow explains it all. I'll be getting to it. He's simply amazing. Wow. You you wow. witness right? Yeah, I witnessed he, it. He's simply I amazing. So he's good. It's, it's good. Anyone who attends this program will be a blessing. So yeah. uh, it's sad a lot of people didn't attend, but of course those here are are, are short because the numbers are really, really astronomical. Very true. It's, it's you see those steps he's using over here. The numbers are really really astron astronomical. Yeah, like it's very, very high. Be, be, be careful, be careful. <laughs> be careful with the words you use. with, Because my audience, most of them are not as astrologists. And oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, oh, I, I'm just kidding over oh, here. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I, I love the way you uh, you go in about things. And surely, we have to schedule things. And uh, Rambi Moshe, I think we need to actually blot him out of the system. Not he himself, but his message. The guy all. has always run away for tough guys. We, we've called him very Derek. True. Very wrote true. out to him. The issue is what he wants is popularity. Very true. So he's always said that he wants Brother Dan. Yeah. He's yeah. not really disturbed. Yeah. Whether facing Brother Dan, whether he will be defeated yeah. or not defeated. Very true. But the fact that having a competition with Brother Dan will escalate him to the yeah. highest level. Yeah. 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 He will yeah. gain recognition. Oh, okay, Brother Dan is saying, okay, a lot of people will watch. Yeah. So he just, hey, I want Brother Dan. No, you can face us down here, but he's not willing to because yeah. he wants to gain prominence and all those That is, so why don't you kill us before you it. get to him? That's it. You see, you beat, the, you beat the small boys, then, we know then you okay, get to then the master. <laughs> he doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want he to, doesn't do, want to that. do that. Okay, so, so he, cannot, he, he, he cannot even face you or yeah, any of those no, guys. No, 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 no. How he can't. can he face? Around Moshe, we right says you can't, okay? He can't. Myself, he can't, I think I ever commented under his comment section and one of his guys responded and they were like, they want heavyweight. Meaning myself, I'm, I'm, I am it a heavyweight. I'll be getting to I think the day you're talking about, Derek actually prompted me. Yeah. He was like, Stephen, we're going to have a debate with Abraham Ben Moshe. But I, I was very surprised to later hear he from. Declined. The, yeah, he yeah, declined it. Yeah, he and declined. He declined. He said, Abraham Ben Moshe says he's not doing it for personal reasons and all that. He wants a, he a heavyweight. He sees us to be small boys or something like that. May God bless you, brother. Thank Let's you. Bukri and right. uh, as I said, we're gonna we're gonna get in touch and we're gonna have a lot of programs. All right. All right. God bless you. So, right. God bless uh, you. currently, are you in a church? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Currently, I'm in the Bunu East region. I mean, okay. I completed Bible school in two, uh, 2021. Yeah. So 
in 2022 January. Okay. I have to go to the Bono East. So I'm currently at Estate Church of Christ in Kranza. Okay, Estate Church of Christ in, in Kranza. Shout yeah. out to you all. Yeah, yeah that's okay. where I am now. Oh, nice one, yeah, nice yeah. one. So, so I've been there for, I think, almost two years. I now. think I've been seeing you on some radio station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, uh, at the place we, 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 we have two radio programs okay. uh, in the region. Um, one is on Fridays and one is on Sundays. Okay. On Fridays, it's on Fabia FM. All right. Fabia so Fridays FM. from 8 to 9 p.m. Okay. Fabia FM. Okay. And on Sundays, it's on Dero FM. Dero FM Sundays. So that is from 6.30 okay. to 7.30 in the oh, evening. Okay. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Make sure yeah. to get in touch with brother. And of course, we're we always live on Facebook. Okay, okay. Yeah, on okay. Facebook, my, my, my page is Ancient West. Ancient West. Yeah, Ancient on Facebook. West. Okay, yeah. you, you will link up to. Brother uh, Bless Bugri, seriously, he's dangerous when it comes to uh, uh, biblical <laughs> exegesis. Uh, okay, not dangerous fancy you're going to escape from him or something like that. But what, what I mean by dangerous, I'm putting it in, I'm putting it we are in trying our way. best. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're actually going to meet up. Okay, okay. okay yeah, yeah, sure, bless sure. You All right, God bless you too. All right. Bye bye. <laughs>
Let me just add one passage to it. Okay. When we have the time, we may speak about it very more. Very true, very true. Since we are in Eph Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 23, okay. tells us that just us, mm -hmm. now that phrase is linguistics. Okay. The moment you use us, us. you are yeah. talking about simile. Simile. Just us, the husband is the head of the wife. So also Christ is the head of the church. Okay. And he is the savior of the body. Wow. Now this is instructive. Wow. At what point in time does a man becomes a head of a woman? Okay. When the man pays the bride price. Okay. When the man pays the diary to okay. the parent of the woman. Okay. Then the man becomes the husband of the wife. Okay. The man becomes owner of the woman Very true. so in english we say possessive pronoun wow, wow now bible tells us that in the same vein jesus is the head of the church okay so what did jesus pay meaning jesus owns the, the church. church wow so jesus wow. paid in receiving the church okay acts chapter 20 verse 28 to 32 wow. tells us that jesus paid his blood to receive the church. Wow. He purchased the church with his own blood. Wow. Now Bible tells us that the church, Jesus is the savior of the body. Okay. So that notion that we all derive from John chapter 3 verse uh, John 6 uh, John chapter 3 verse 16. 16. Okay. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him yeah. should not perish but have right. everlasting life. Everlasting it life. is not literally so. Okay. What it means is it that is literally, literally so. so. Okay. What it means is that the saved, those that Jesus have saved, it is those individuals that Jesus organized to okay. form his church. Oh, meaning it, it, it isn't a sin that is referring to the whole world. No. Okay. So those that Jesus saves, they mm. form the body of Christ. Okay. Now, Acts chapter 2, verse 42 tells you that those that Jesus saves, okay. he adds them to the church. Okay. So you don't just join the church, not, but it is Jesus Not who, a church. Not a church, the church. Okay. Definite okay. article, laying um. the emphasis. So God himself will add you to the church. Okay. Therefore, mm. there is one church in the Bible. Wow. And if you want to be saved, mm. it is that church that you need to look out for. Wow. Finally, finally. Okay. John chapter 10 verse 16. Mm -hmm. Jesus himself made a profound statement. Okay. Now, you see, people have been making that argument. Okay. It doesn't matter the church that you attend. Okay. Yeah, In three, yeah, they will yeah. tell you, Asobia, yeah, yeah, sorry. relativism. Exactly. Yeah. Now, yeah. Jesus told us that. I have a sheep food. Okay. And I have sheep in that food. Okay. The church members are those that Jesus is referring to as the sheep. Mm -hmm. Then he says, I have other sheep outside that food. Okay. Now, those of us who have business ideas will yeah. say, then leverage it. Oh, nice create time. yet another fold and add those sheep into that fold. Okay. But Jesus says, no, I have different approach. Wow. Them also I must bring mm -hmm. and add them to this fold okay. so that there will be only one fold. Wow. One shepherd so wow. that they can hear my voice. Wow. The danger of this statement is that Anybody who does not belong to the fold that belongs to Jesus can wow. never hear the voice that of Christ. That person is tantamount to hell. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. wow. Well, that so was... if you want to, <laughs> you want salvation, I encourage you, okay. look out for that fold, be part of it, okay. and then you'll be part of the same so, individual. So the thing is, the thing is, who are those folds? Those in the fold okay. are those that we call the church of Christ. Wow. Now this also is linguistics. Nice one. Church. <laughs> Okay, you nice want to one. come in. Nice one. The thing is, uh, seriously, if I'm to leave uh, Brother Retina, he's actually going to preach the whole day. You see, he's um, currently the uh, preacher of um, Takwa, the central church of Christ. I hope he gets with me. So, if I should put it this way, he succeeded uh, Brother Dan, uh, Brother Dr. Dan Ousu Esiama. I hope he gets with me. Actually, uh, also delivered stars of it uh, today, and seriously, I was very happy. Okay, myself. I think it, it's my second time meeting him one on one, and even Brother Retna himself, my first time meeting him one on one, and he's very good man, he's very nice man. Look at the way he's flowing over here. If I'm to leave him, he's actually going to speak the whole day, but I'm not going to allow that. Okay, <laughs> next time, if you really want to get the continuation of the discussion, make sure to uh, link up to us always and every time. Surely, uh, we're going to have a full program with him. I'm going to be seated with him, and he's going to tell us a lot about uh, the church he's actually talking about. He says, The Church of Christ 
uh, okay, the, ch the Bible is making reference to the church that belongs to Christ. Well, we know are going to allow you to continue because of our time. Uh, but may God Richard bless you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. God yeah, bless you. May God Richard bless you. God bless you. We actually going to meet up here right. once again. All right. Uh, but I think I think you have to say some final thing. What do you tell those that weren't able to attend today? Because I think they they missed a lot. Okay. So yeah. all that I'll tell them is that today the preachers who are taking us through are all seasoned preachers. Okay. God are done leading the team. Brother Samson, Egan, and myself, yeah. we are all on top of the topics that we are treating. Very true. If you can make it, the program will travel from today, tomorrow, and we end on Friday. Wow. If you are anywhere close that you can make it to this place, I encourage you to do it. Yes. If not, yes. next time when you hear of Preacher's Clinic, do not hesitate, but make it a point and join us. God yeah. bless us Make all. it a point and join us. God bless us all. Yes, myself, I, I testify to this because I've also got a lot. I've gotten a lot, let me put it that way. And surely the next time, I don't, I don't, I don't think you're going to miss it because all these programs are going to be shown to you and surely you'll get to know you missed a lot. May God Richie bless you. Shall we meet up here once again? Bye-bye. Ha! <laughs>